All right, if you want to import in one of the cars from the game, for example, you just go into where you installed the game. In my case, it is the Steam library and Steam apps, common and beam ng drive and content vehicles. You'll see all the mods for the vehicles that come with the game and stuff, the piano, TV, uh, different things, semi. Uh, so, like, if you wanted to load one, you just say, like, the pickup truck. You just extract it onto the desktop. And then in the desktop, you'll open up the folder, and you'll see, it, uh, if you do this type thing, you'll see a DAE file. This is what you can import into Blender. Now, all these different ver uh, versions of this pickup that you say all these different versions that you can load for the pickup truck. Imagine every single model for every single one loading at one time, and that's what happens when you import in the DAE. Every one of them will load. Let's go to our recent folder. There it is. We'll import it in. And as you can see, there's just many, 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 many parts. There's like, there's like, I can delete these hoods. There's like six different hoods. Just hoods. Uh, but what I did, I didn't want to like combine everything to one object. I just took parts of like <clears throat> parts of the car <clears throat> that make up like a big chunk of it anyway. You know, just like uh you know, just a few parts. I don't need everything. I uh, just holding shift down while I multiple select things and uh I just say uh, object join. Now I'll move that object that I joined and I'll delete all the other stuff. Uh, and then if I want to use this to load in like when I'm making stuff in Blender and I was like well let me see how this scales how it looks to compare it to a game car uh, so just export this onto the desktop as uh, or wherever you want to export it to just call it something like for scale that the way you know what it is just export it that way if you're making something you can import in something and uh, no well okay see we're in America here so we don't use metrics so meters uh, that, that's too much math for me to figure out and it doesn't really give me a good idea of something sec scale so I prefer to just load in something like the car like this pickup or something just so I know what how I need to adjust something to be smaller or larger it looks different it does someone asked a while back about perspective like in the game like something in blender looks one size and then you get in the game and it looks another size you know it's just has to do with the the field of view which i don't know what this field of view is for this default camera but i guess it all depends on how you got your blender set up and you know in the game you can have all different kinds of uh, FOVs so you know I would say if you could keep things consistent with the game and with the blender it makes it a lot easier but I am bad about making things that uh, they look right but then when you get in the game the scale don't look right even though I use something like this for scale there's also a uh, 
asset browser which I didn't set this up I had to reinstall blender but you can make items uh, an asset basically so that you can load it from this asset library you don't have to go to file import but you can just click on the truck and just drag it into the scene but <clears throat> Hell, this, this thing takes as about as long to load as it takes just to go and import it in from this way. So I don't I don't ever fool with it. But <clears throat> that's about it. That's about it for uh, loading vehicles. Other things don't seem to load so well in the game. Um, like, for example bushes trees if you try to import in them from the levels if you extract a level like you extract the car and you know you load up like uh jungle rock island for example uh, j jungle rock island uh, right we'll go into uh art shapes trees tropical tree tropical tree huge I mean you can see some of the stuff some things you can't see some things you can see but if you try to go to like the textures and look at the textures you're not gonna see it you're gonna see this well you know the cars don't show the damn textures either all that stuff's handled in a game engine I guess I mean, they didn't make all these textures in Blender. They might have got the UVs and stuff in here, but these textures, when you click on them, they don't show you anything. So that's the only bad thing about that. But it does show you, like, the collision mesh, the different LODs. This is the best detail, which means when this is... 2500 pixels large it'll show you this model when it's only 400 pixels large it'll show you that model and then everything in between these are the different LODs the BB auto billboard if it's in base 00, zero as long as you're using LODs which are these A the underscore A <coughs> and the number then this will convert to a two-dimensional plane when you're more than 400 away when it's smaller than 400 then it'll turn into a two-dimensional polygon so that doesn't work good on things like tree logs <laughs> I can tell you that now that don't work too well on those but for stuff like this it works pretty good but if you're trying to load things in the blender from the game, this is very similar to what you're going to see with it. pretty much everything. As far as no textures, 